We can get back to Connor whenever you're ready, Desmond. Unless you want to plug in the power source first. Up to you. I can't believe it's taken me so long to ask, but... How's Mom? She's not... No, 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 no. Your mother is fine. We decided it was safer if we split up for this job. Always assuming the worst. Hm. <laughs> for good reason. Can I at least say hi to her? I'm sorry it's too risky. Maybe when we're done. Right. When we're done. Have... have we ever tried to make peace with the Templars? Throughout our history, there have been moments. Several, in fact. But... it's impossible. There are existential differences, insurmountable. If there were to be unity, it wouldn't be a truce so much as a submission. But knowing what's about to happen, wouldn't it make sense to try and talk to Vidic? Come to an arrangement, even if it's only temporary? We'd all be so busy watching our backs, nothing would get accomplished. <laughs> Imagine that. We're more productive at war. Well, have we ever tried sending in someone? Doing to them what they did to us with Lucy? Or Cross? We have, and it's never worked. We've sent people who were either too weak and found themselves turned, or too strong and were unable to carry out the charade. I just feel like we all want the same thing. We use the same words, but that's all they are, words. In the end, it all comes down to freedom. We seek it, they detest it. And so there's never an end to the fight. Not until one side is completely gone. Is that even possible? Probably not. Our two groups have existed in one form or another since, well, since forever. But things can be better than they are. And that's something. Did you look for me, Dad? When I was gone? Every day. Come on. I mean it. Every night I'd look, searching for your name or variations of it, hoping you'd slip up. Abstergo only found you first because they had better access. A few more days and it would have been me. Well, I'm here now. And I'm glad. Do you think Lucy regretted what she was doing? I used to think I knew her well, but clearly that wasn't the case. So I really can't give you an honest answer. She seemed so sincere, though. Like she really wanted to make a difference. Yes, well, when I first met him, I thought the same thing about Cross. It just keeps happening over and over again. What does? So, what's the latest? Learn anything interesting while you were exploring? They were working on some weird stuff towards the end. Trying to engineer new bodies and store their minds inside computers. Failure after failure. They must... Ooh, look at that! I found a third power source! Already? It popped up in an earlier search, but I've only just managed to confirm it. Where? There's a museum in Cairo, with one on display. I guess Connor will have to wait. No, you stay. We need to find that key, and time is running out. I'll make the trip. What about Cross? Everything's going to be fine. I'll be back soon. Ready when you are, Desmond.
Winter approaches. The air is still and sharp with grim expectation. The others sense it too and go about their work with uncommon urgency. I would like to help them, but more pressing matters now demand my attention. The Templars have targeted George Washington directly, and will not rest until he is dead. I had hoped to shield him from this knowledge, but Thomas Hickey ended any hope I had of staying silent. And so I have resolved to share everything I know of the Templars and their plots, of who I really am. Achilles finds fault in this, and we argue every day, but there is simply too much now at stake to maintain restraint. Don't do this, Connor! Then what would you propose we do? Sit and watch while the Templars take control? We are sworn to stop them, or have you forgotten? Assassins are meant to be quiet, precise. We do not go announcing conspiracies from the rooftops to all who pass by. Who are you to lecture anyone? You locked yourself away in this crumbling heap and gave up on the Brotherhood entirely. Since the day I arrived, you've done nothing but discourage me. And on the rare occasions you've chosen to help, you've done so little, you may as well have done nothing at all. How dare you! Then tell me, on whose watch did the Brotherhood falter? Whose inaction allowed the Templar Order to grow so large that it now controls an entire nation? If I sought to dissuade you, it was because you knew nothing. If I was reluctant to contribute, it was because you were naive. A thousand times you would have died and taken God knows how many with you. Let me tell you something, Connor. Life is not a fairy tale, and there are no happy endings. No. Not when men like you are left in charge. In your haste to save the world, boy, take care you don't destroy it. Ha!
Commander. Connor. Any word on Lee? Not yet. My apologies. I've been distracted. Supply caravans meant for the camp have gone missing. I suspect treachery. A traitor named Benjamin Church, recently released from prison, has vanished as well. The two events are surely related. What was his crime? He was caught sending letters to the Loyalists, detailing our troop strength. He claimed it was a scare tactic, that we might avoid war. A poor lie. I will find church for you. Why? What reason have you to help? Does it matter? As you wish. We've received reports of trouble along the southern road. Might be he's responsible. I suggest you begin your search there. Ah, Connor! What do you think of my work thus far? The men are bolstered. Focused. It is good you have come. Ah, uh, you are too kind. Lord knows my journey was far from certain. The trials we suffered getting here were strange and many. <laughs> I dressed as a woman, Connor, to evade British spies. Did you know that? I did not. As a woman, you say? It is the truth. King George had already stopped our crossing once in Bordeaux, threatening to seize my newly purchased ship, La Victoire, and arrest me. But... I was born stubborn, and such a warning could not dissuade me. So we rode for Spain and bought passage aboard the ship there. George's spies had followed us every step of the way. Disguise was the only remaining option, mon dieu. No man can doubt your commitment, and you are invaluable to the cause. You did what you needed to do. <laughs> I am certain I would have done the same. <laughs> but of course you would. I expect nothing less.
Connor, any last words? Wait, a poor choice. <laughs> Come to check up on Church? Make sure he's stolen enough for your British brothers? Benjamin Church is no brother of mine. No more than the Redcoats or their idiot king. Oh, I expected naivete, but this... The Templars do not fight for the crown. We seek the same as you, boy. Freedom, justice, independence. But... Hmm? But what? Johnson, Pitcairn, Hickey. They sought to steal land, to sack towns, to murder George Washington. <sighs> Johnson sought to own the land, that we might keep it safe. Pitcairn aimed to encourage diplomacy, which you cocked up thoroughly enough to start a goddamn war. And Hickey? George Washington is a wretched leader. He's lost nearly every battle in which he's taken part. The man's racked with uncertainty and insecurity. Only look at Valley Forge to know my words are true. We're all better off without him. Look, much as I'd love to spar with you, Benjamin Church's mouth is as big as his ego. You clearly want the supplies he's stolen. I want him punished. Our interests are aligned. What do you propose? A truce. Perhaps... Perhaps some time together might do us good. You are my son, after all, and might still be saved from your ignorance. I can kill you now, if you prefer. Excellent. Shall we be off? Do you even know where Benjamin Church has gone? I'm afraid not. I'd hoped to ambush him when he or one of his men returned here. It seems I'm too late. They've come and cleared the place out. I may be able to track him.